What up, people? It's Juan. Um, I wanted to go ahead and do another video for you guys with the bike. Um, if you don't know, it's the Venom 125cc uh, GT. Um, I got someone in the comment section saying that they couldn't really see the bike. And so I went ahead and pulled it out of the garage today. And sorry about that, the dogs. Um, so I wanted to do a video for you guys showing a little couple of things that I've done. Um, to modify the bike, make it a little faster in my own kind of way. Um, but yeah, so here's the bike in the daylight so you guys can see. Such a sweet bike. It's a full-size motorcycle. I freaking love this thing. And yes, it does say Kawasaki Ninja. I put those stickers on there. It is not a Kawasaki Ninja. <laughs> It's a, um, it's a Venom, but I have no shame in my game, to be quite honest with you, because it's my bike, and I'm going to do what I want with it. People may say, oh, you got a fake, oh, this and that, but when I'm on the streets and guys see it, they're like, oh, dude, that's a sweet ninja. And I'm like, yeah, man, it is. <laughs> so nobody can tell the difference, and most Kawasaki ninjas are green, so it looks like it, and it's fly as heck looks beautiful you know it even says it right there kawasaki ninja i did the detail myself um even the 400 so yeah but not only that i wanted to show you guys that you can move the seat and when you do i went ahead and um put leds on led switch i could turn it on from here so you can see that. There we go. Yeah. And I ran it through. Um, let's see. I ran it through the whole bike. It comes all the way around. And this sucker glows green. You can see the LEDs right there. I don't have to worry about them getting hot. Um, they are waterproof. Let me see. Can, can you see it in here? Yep. Yeah, it runs all the way through. I even got it up in there. I uh, can't see it. But yeah, I have a... Uh, it does all kinds of colors. Usually I'll do green or blue. You can detach it. So if you want to detach it, you can. But yeah, it's 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 pretty sweet. Um, just strap the seat back on. It doesn't come off. Um... I freaking love this bike. I know whoever gets it, they'll love it too. It's totally worth the money. Especially if you're not... Especially if you're not gonna pay about, what, 27 30 for a brand new Kawasaki Ninja. I can't afford it. So I went on the cheap side. But you know what? It's worth it with Venom. And no, I am not sponsored. Oh my gosh, really? What an a-hole. Uh, sorry about that, you guys. It is, I am not sponsored by Venom at all. I'm just a buyer and I love the bike. I recommend it to anybody that wants to get it. Oh, I wanted to show you guys, too, that because it's a 125cc, it is considered a scooter. Um, all scooters, they come with this, what, like, two-leg kickstand on the bottom where you can pull it down and the bike sits on it. Man, I took that off because that's at least 30 pounds right there on the bike alone. I, had, I went, and there's, like, a, a pin inside there. I hammered that out, and I took this 30-pound freaking kickstand it already comes with a kickstand so it came with this other one that scooters come with i took that off that's 30 pounds extra weight i removed that now the bike even goes even faster plus my big butt on the bike i weigh at least 180 190 but the bike does get up to 60 miles per hour i know uh bikes that are uh what is that company tau tau they make uh the same kind of bike but for some reason, their bike does not get up to 60 miles per hour. With Venom, their bikes actually do what it says. 
Tao Tao, I know, I don't know if I'm saying it right, but correct me if I'm not, but they say their bikes get up to 60. No, they don't. Uh, with Venom, it really happens. But not only that, um, I took off the weight from that. Let me go ahead and show you guys. It's, it's loud. The stupid neighbor's freaking cutting his grass and stuff. But I'm going to show you guys what part I'm talking about. But not only that, um, you could swap out the exhaust for a custom one. You can get a carbon fiber or aluminum. The exhaust that it comes with, it's a little chunky and a little heavy. You can get a shorter one, and it even makes it sound different. But um, the one that I have, I haven't put a custom one on yet, but I will in the future. So this is what I'm talking about. This exhaust right here, it's a little heavy. The piping, it's fine. It's the exhaust that's a little heavy. I'm going to have to remove that, and I'm going to put a lighter one. I want to get a carbon fiber one. It even sounds better. But, I mean, I can't complain. Now, the, the part that I was talking about that I removed, you see where the little hole is, right? Let me see, right there? That's where this kickstand would come down. It would sit right here. It will come down and it will just sit on the floor. And the motorcycle would sit on top of the kickstand. I went ahead and took that off. Because that was 30 pounds of weight on the bike. No longer there. There was no point in having that when I have a bike kickstand like that. You know what I mean? Where the bike can sit on. It looks honestly like a more legit motorcycle, not a fake, which I'm all about the real deal, but I can't afford it. And I know there's other people out there like me that can't afford it. So do what you got to do, bro. Who cares what people say, what they think? It's your stuff. You're the one buying it. If you can't afford a motorcycle that's like super expensive and you want to start off with a starter bike, then get one of these, man. That's what I say. Um, this is my first bike ever. I used to do motocross, but it's even different on a, on a street motorcycle too because like the, the clutching and the, the shifting gears, you have to know when to shift as you're releasing the clutch because the, my, the bike will stall out and it's a little embarrassing but who cares i don't i don't let that bother me um people may say what they say but it's a good starter bike you know and it sounds beautiful even with the big exhaust i love it but i mean it's a it's a great beginner bike so this is it you guys i went ahead and hit that request i brought it out into the light so you guys could see and yeah you guys let me know what you think go ahead and hit me up in the comment section um the led lights if you let me know that you want to know where to get them and stuff i'll go ahead and let you know in the comment section if you want to subscribe i'm even going to put more videos on um i actually See this plate here, you can go inside here. I took it off and um, I made it to where I could clutch my bike at a different timing. So, oh dang, I had it wrong. Um, inside, under this plate, there's a screw and a, a, a metal rod that goes inside. Um, I personally talked to Venom and they told me to open this up if I wanted to switch up my clutch where as I'm releasing it, it uh, I could throttle the bike even faster. Um, if you have any questions about that, if you get the bike and you're having a hard time clutching and shifting, let me know in the comment section. I'll show you what to do. I figured it out myself because um, I didn't have anybody come down. They don't do that. So I went ahead and did it myself and I took care of it. So I could definitely show you guys how to do that. It, this is where your clutch uh, gear is inside here and your throttle so you can... Uh, keep going without stalling out and then um i could show you guys some other stuff with the the brake and the clutch gear right here this is your clutch i could show you guys how to swap those out change your oil all that stuff i actually uh changed the factory oil on this so yeah all right guys have a good day and let me know in the comment section what you guys think peace